Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I'm going to be showcasing the Lost Planet 2 benchmark. Now, this will be running on both Windows 8 and Ubuntu 13.10. However, on Ubuntu side, we are running it in Wine. Wine 1.7.1 with the CSMT patch. So what we're really looking at here is the Wine performance compared to the current Windows native performance. Hopefully this will get, uh, give us a better representation of the gaming scene compared to Windows versus Wine, not so much Ubuntu versus Windows. So I'll be running test B for Lost Planet 2 here. Now it's at the default settings which is basically everything is set to high, the only thing that's disabled is anti-aliasing and vsync on both systems. So as we start out we are seeing about two times the frames per second on Windows compared to on Ubuntu with Wine. Now it seems to be dropping. It looks like on the Windows side it fluctuates pretty heavily. It goes up just now to 90, then went down to 60, back up to 90. And on Ubuntu side with Wine, Wine seems to be idling pretty well, even though VSync is disabled. However, if you do notice on the left, which is Ubuntu, Wine seems to think that my CPU is an Intel Pentium 4, which it's not. It's an Intel i7-4770. So in this benchmark, Wine does not recognize my CPU properly, or at least it doesn't report it properly to the benchmark. However, other benchmark programs such as Street Fighter 4 do recognize the CPU properly using the same version of Wine, so maybe it is specific to this benchmark. Both system systems are set to performance. Now normal wine, I was unable to get this benchmark to work, which is why we are using the CSMT version of wine. Hopefully this is also representative of what future updates and performances that we will get in future wine versions. So throughout this video so far we have seen Windows 8, which is the native platform for this game having a higher frames per second than Wine 1.7.1 with CSMT. Wine seems to idle between 45 to 50 frames per second, while on Windows it looks to be around 70, 70 to 80 frames per second idling. Sometimes it drops down below to 60 something. Just now we saw it drop down to 50 something. So we've reached the end of the benchmark and we can see the results in the game itself, in the benchmark itself, apologies. So on the Windows side we gain rank A, on, on the Wine side we are gaining a rank B. So on average frames per second we are seeing about twice the frames per second on Windows. However this is not surprising because Windows is native and has everything that the game needs while Wine is still in development. Hopefully though, thanks to the CSMT patch we're seeing higher performance and the ability to actually run this benchmark properly. Why am I making this video now? So that when Wine has fully integrated with the CSMT patch in the future, which is what they're working on now, hopefully we can look back at, to this video and see, have we really gained a larger performance? Or is it relatively the same so far? Hopefully we will see a better performance in the future. And while this is only on one set of hardware with one distribution of Linux, so it is not really representative of the entire community, it does give you a slight idea of where we are right now with Wine and gaming. Hopefully I'll have more benchmarks like this coming up soon. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you saw any mistakes or you have recommendations or advice you'd like to give me, please leave a comment down below and like or dislike and let me know why. Thanks for watching guys.